On an ordinary day, Pumwani Hospital, the largest maternity hospital in the country, would have more than 450 inpatients. Now there are only four. This nursery would usually be full. At least 80 babies would normally be delivered here every day. Since the doctor's strike began in December, that number has fallen to around 20. Little Gladys has just been born. She's lucky that her bath was smooth and only required the presence of a midwife. City Hall officials say they've tried to ensure that the hospital continues to run smoothly by using consultant doctors. But wards and corridors here are empty. The contingency measures have clearly not worked. We are negotiating talking about life. If somebody dies, you will never get that life tomorrow. And the doctor should be actually working, regardless of the environment the situation is working in, to save life at that particular point in time. Lynette Gesare was eight months pregnant when she lost her baby in January. She had high blood pressure, but without a doctor, Pumwani Hospital could not do much for her. In pain and without money, she went to another hospital run by missionaries at the other end of the city. It was too late. So, she tells me if the doctors were there, they would have helped her and maybe her baby would be alive. Like Lynette, many people who cannot access public hospitals come here. This is a mission-run hospital and is relatively cheap compared to other private hospitals. But the number of patients coming here every day has gone up from about 800 people to over 1,800. This is a room in the pediatric ward. Usually the ward can accommodate 50 patients. That number has more than doubled now. You'll also find patients along hallways in other wards as well. Doctors here are saying they are absolutely overwhelmed. This doctor tells us they're working long hours to try and make sure that everyone gets treated. We reach a point as a facility where in as much as we want to take in as many of these patients, we will not be in a position in terms of the physical space, in terms of the healthcare workers who are working here in uh, very dedicated, and also in terms of the hospital supplies. Doctors and government representatives say they've now reached an agreement on the issues that led to the strike. But Lynette tells us that if the agreement could have been reached sooner, perhaps she'd be holding a healthy baby boy in her arms today. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.